You're watching NBC5 News. Hello, welcome to a special edition of News 5. I'm Jordan James. And I'm Hillary Hobson. We start with the latest on the floods in Houston. Jesse Diamba joins us live from there now. Hey there, Hillary and Jordan. I'm here live in Houston where residents are finally getting a break from the rain. Days and days of rain brought historic flooding to the area. So far, eight people have lost their lives. Uh, 24 hours after a mandatory, a mandatory evacuation order was given in the city of Wharton, crews are helping out those who chose not to leave. Since Thursday, they have made more than three dozen rescues in the area. The Houston area is still trying to dry out after more than a foot of rain dropped early this week. That's all that we have for you guys right now, but live in Houston, I'm Jesse Dion, but back to you guys in the studio. Today is your chance to get an inside look at how emergency crews responded to disasters. There's an open house at Aubrey High School. From floods, from floods to tornadoes, you can get advice for first responders from now until noon. And you can check out some of, some of the vehicles used for emergencies. The goal is to get your families prepared for any kind of emergency. The state's newest tax-free weekend is here. Starting today through Monday at midnight, some emergency supplies are tax-free. This deal includes batteries, flashlights, hurricane shelters, and some portable generators. For the complete list, go to our website and search tax-free. In memory of Prince, several movie chains have announced plans to show his most popular movie, Purple Rain, first released in 1984. The movie has earned him an Academy Award for Best Original Song Score. Various showings of Purple Rain are scheduled for this weekend at four AMC theaters across North Texas. And tomorrow night, Saturday, Saturday Night Live will pay tribute to Prince. Good Night Sweet Prince will feature clips from numerous performances on the show. On selected days, the Dallas Museum of Art opens early for children with art autism and their families to enjoy art together in a fun environment. There are special gallery tours, art projects, music and occupational therapies going on too. This is all free. And the goal is simply to let families access social activities. The next Autism Awareness Family Celebration is Saturday, April the 30th. Time to get a check on, on your weather. Shelby Trayan is in our weather screen. Do we have good weather this weekend? That's right, Jordan. We do have good weather this weekend. Let's go ahead and take a look at our tower cam. We have really nice weather outside. We've been getting a lot of great comments on our Facebook page about people going out and having picnics in this great weather that we're having. Let's go ahead and take a look at our radar. We have a couple of clouds down here, but they're just going to move on down to the south. They're not going to affect the North Texas area. We're still going to have a bunch of clear skies outside. Let's take a look at our regional temperatures. We have 75 in Wichita Falls and Fort Worth, 77 in Dallas, 74 in Waco, and 71 in Abilene. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast. We have 83 today, that's the high. Tomorrow it's gonna get a little windy, so it's the high of 83 and the low of 62. Moving into Monday, we're still in the high 80s. It's going to be a little hot outside, but moving into Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to have some severe weather. The highs are in the 80s, but you know, like I said, it's going to be raining a lot. So make sure you have your umbrella and check back in with us. We're going to give you some updates next week. On Thursday, we have the high of 84 and the low of 69. But moving into Friday, we are going to have some more severe weather. So like I said, please check back in. Jordan, Hillary, back to you at the desk. Let's get a check on those playoff games. George. Mariah Nolan is here with sports. Hey, guys. The Dallas Stars had a chance to wrap up their series last night against the Minnesota Wild, but lost the game in overtime 5-4. to four. Stars still lead the series 3-2, to two, and Game 6 will be tomorrow night in Minnesota. The Dallas Mavericks hope to even up their series at home tonight against Oklahoma City. The teams have traded games so far with Oklahoma City winning Game 3 in convincing fashion in Dallas. Tip-off is at 8 tonight. The Cowboys are helping out with a good cause. Today they participated in the Children's Cancer Fund Gala in Dallas to help with the pediatric cancer research. On Thursday night, the Cowboys are number four in the NFL draft. That's the highest spot since having the top overall pick from 1989 to 91 when quarterback Troy Aikman joined the team. Jordan and Hillary, back to the playoffs. How do you think the Stars will do? I think the Stars are going to do well. Me too. Um, good luck to them. A meeting with the president sounds for a good reason for a bedtime extension. At the Kingston Palace today, Prince, Prince George dressed adorably in his pajamas and robe and met with President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. The two-year-old also expressed appreciation for her, the rocking horse that they gave him at birth. The Obamas are in the U.K. to celebrate the Queen's 90th birthday. That's it for this special edition of News 5. I'm Jordan James. And I'm Hillary Hobson. We'll see you next time. Watching NBC5 News.
Hello, welcome to this special edition of News 5. I'm Jordan James. And I'm Hillary Hobson. We start with the latest on the floods in Houston. Victoria Upton joins us live from there now. Hey guys, I'm here in Houston and they're finally getting a break from the rain. Days of rain have brought a historic flooding to the area and 24 hours after a mandatory evacuation order was given to the city of Wharton and crews are now helping out those who have chosen not to leave. They've made more than three dozen rescues since Thursday and the Houston area is trying to dry out after more than a foot of rain dropped earlier this week. I'm Victoria Upton. Back to you guys in Dallas. Today's, today's your chance to get an inside look at how emergency crews respond to disaster. There's an open house today in, at Aubrey High School. From floods to tornadoes, you can get advice from the first responders from now until noon. As you can check out some of the vehicles used for emergency, the goal is to get your family prepared for any kind of emergency. The state's newest tax-free weekend is here. Starting today through Monday at midnight, some emergency supplies are tax-free. The deal includes batteries, flashlights, hurricane shelters, and some portable generators. For the complete list, go to our website and search tax-free. In memory of Prince, several movie chains have announced plans to show his most popular movie, Popo Rain, first released in 1984. The movie earned him an Academy Award for Best Original Song Score. Various showings of Purple Rain are scheduled for this weekend at 4 AMC theaters across North Texas. And tomorrow night, Saturday Night Live will pay tribute to Prince. Good Night Sweet Prince will feature various clips from numerous of performances. On selected days, the Dallas Museum of Art opens early for children with autism and their families to enjoy art together in a fun environment. There are special gallery tours, art projects, music and occupational therapies going on too. This is all free. And the goal is to simply give access to families to social activities. The next Autism Awareness Family Celebration is Saturday, April the 30th. Time, time to get a check on your weather. Let's send it to our weather anchor, Brittany Davis is at the weather screen. Do we have good weather this weekend? We absolutely do. We've got some clear blue skies, a nice quiet day in North Texas. Oh, we've got a bit of cloud coverage covering the south of us, but over in the north, we're pretty much in the clear over in DFW area. Um, currently, the temperatures at the moment, we've got 75 in Fort Worth, 77th in Dallas, and also 75 in Wichita Falls. So for our seventh day forecast, uh, at the moment we're at 83, uh, nice warm day in Texas right now. Uh, going on to tomorrow, it's going to be a bit windy. Uh, the highest is 83, the lowest is going to be 62. Um, going on to Tuesday and Wednesday, Wednesday, there is going to be some severe uh, thunderstorming going on, so check back with us later in the week for that. Um, but it will be 87, the highest and lowest is going to be 70 on Tuesday. Wednesday there is going to be 86, the highest, and 70 uh, is the lowest for Wednesday. Let's get a check of on those playoffs games. Shatara Taylor is here with sports. The Dallas Stars had a chance to wrap up their the Dallas Stars had a chance to wrap up the series last night in Minnesota Wild, but they lost the game in overtime five to two. The Stars still lead the series three to two. Game six will be tomorrow night in Minnesota. The, da the Dallas Mavericks hope to even up their series at home tonight against the Oklahoma City. The teams have traded games so far, with Oklahoma City winning Game 3 in a convincing fashion in Dallas. Tip-off is, is at 8 tonight. The Dallas Cowboys are helping out with a good cause. Today, they participated in the Children's Cancer Fund Gala in Dallas to help with pediatric cancer research. On Thursday night, the Cowboys are, they are in the number four, are number 4 in the NFL Draft. That's the highest spot since having the top overall pick from 1989 to 1981 when quarterback Troy Aikman joined the team. Jordan, Hillary, back to the playoffs. You think the Stars would do well? Think they have a chance? I actually think, I think they're going to rebound. You know what? And Jordan's here is the expert, so I'm just going with what he's saying. Okay. I mean, with the president sounds like a good reason for a bedtime extension. At Kingston Palace today, Prince George dressed adorable in his pajamas and robe and met with President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama. The two-year-old also expressed appreciation for the rocking horse they gave him at birth. The Obamas are in the U.K. to celebrate the Queen's 90th birthday. That's it for this special edition of News 5. I'm Jordan James. And I'm Hillary Hobson. We'll see you next time.